Hello, and welcome to Credit Matters TV, the show highlighting Standard & Poor's analysis and global perspective on the latest credit market developments. I'm John Sugden, Senior Director and Analytical Manager for the U.S. States Group within U.S. Public Finance, and I'll be your host today. On July 10th, we released our 2013 U.S. State Debt Report titled, Despite Large Infrastructure Needs, Debt Issuance Remains Muted, Related to U.S. State Debt Levels. Joining me today is Henry Henderson, the author of the report and a director in our U.S. States Group. Henry, welcome to the show. Thanks, John. Henry, very interesting article. So why don't you start and tell us uh, what is S&P's overall view of uh, U.S. State Debt Levels? Well, we look at state debt levels on many different ratios, through many different ratios, and by those ratios we see debt levels as moderate. For example, the carrying charge of, of debt service expenditures to the budget is less than 4% for, for the median for states, and overall we feel that states are not laboring under unbearable debt burdens. Very good. Yeah, so 4% I think is, is manageable. Um, so what are the, some of the trends that your report highlights? Well, for example, we looked at the aggregate debt levels for all state debt, and by that measurement, state debt, aggregate state debt was only up 3% from 2011 to fiscal 2012. And while there was a significant issuance, a significant increase in debt issuance in 2012 from 2011, the majority of that was for refundings and therefore did not in, in result in an increase in net debt levels. Okay, and I think there were some mention also that there were some large issuers that also might have some large issues related to unemployment compensation bonds that were pretty significant and that also contributed to that 3% increase. Uh, very, very interesting. Uh, how does uh, t debt issuance in 2012 compare to debt issuance in 2011? Well, 2010 was a record year and so therefore 2011 came down a bit. 2010, there was a lot of issuance due to the taxable Build America bonds. And we feel that in 2012, debt levels, debt issuance returned to a more average level. Right, yeah. So I remember uh, that people were rushing to the market to get uh, the benefit of the Build America bonds in 2010. So that, what you're saying, is it muted 2011 issuance. Exactly. Okay, very good. Um, so in, in reading your report, uh, you talk about uh, what we expect to see in 2014. Could you share with us what our view is in terms of debt issuance in 2014? Sure. We feel that debt issuance in 2014 will remain muted. We feel that there are significant pressures on state budgets, significant demands to restore services, to increase pension and, and health care funding, and that these type of pressures will, will result in muted debt issuance in 2014. We, we feel that there's a less of an appetite for debt issuance in, in 2014 in the current environment. Great. Well, thank you, Henry, for sharing your insights on this uh, report. This concludes our segment of CMTV. Thank you for watching.